Hey guys, welcome back to Grace with RCs. I got an unboxing video. Let's do this, let's get to it. This is a 124 scale four wheel drive desert buggy from ECX. Here we go. Before I even begin, box came pretty beat up during shipping. So fingers crossed everything's all right. Bought this on eBay and uh, here we go. Here's the remote. It's a little 2.4 gig remote, uh, it takes four AA batteries. I have a few of these vehicles uh, also. Uh, I buy these mostly for my wife and for my daughter. They really, really enjoy the little scale and the smaller scale RCs. Um, it feels good in the hands. I don't really have big hands, but it's still pretty small. But for a small child, perfect. My daughter's got little, little hands and this does a great job. It has the standard equipment on there. It is uh, dual rates for the steering and throttle. You got throttle trim and steering trim with the reversing throttle and steering. So it's got actually everything you need, like a full scale, but just in a smaller package. There we go. Manual has a little USB charger and comes with four double A's. So that's pretty cool. I don't ever use this USB charger. It takes quite a long time. But I use just my standard uh, high-tech pro charger. So there's that. Let's get the little vehicle out. Get the box out of the way. These little things are pretty cool. This is a little desert buggy from ECX. It is four-wheel drive, like I said before. Uh, comes with a little nickel metal high drive battery. Let me open that up for you. It opens up from the very bottom here. So let's pop it open, show you guys there. It is extremely small. Uh, let's see, here we go. It is a 220 milliamp uh, 4.8 volt battery. There it is, let me show you guys up closer. When I charge these on my high tech pro charger, I charge it at 0.4 amps. I kind of double it. These batteries are extremely, extremely cheap. So, and it doesn't get hot when I double it either. And it takes about an hour to fully charge. So it's a good little battery. So back to the vehicle here. Doesn't have oil fill shocks. It's all friction. Uh, no foams in the tires. Tires are actually quite soft. You can see with my hand here. The steering does work quite well for these little things. Uh, there's not much weight to them. They're extremely, extremely light. It has all Phillips hardware. So you gotta be very careful when you do work on these. It's quite small. It's best to go to like a jeweler or a place that sells uh, jewelry and you can get the little hardware that, uh, sorry, the little uh, tools that you use to take like glasses and everything off and you can get better access to these little tiny screws, uh, hopefully without stripping them. So let me give you guys another quick shot of it there. It's pretty cool. It should do pretty decent. So uh, I know you guys like to see the suspension. Uh, see if I pull it back a little bit here. It's friction shocks, extremely bouncy. So this little guy doesn't have a standard servo. Uh, I believe it is a four wire servo on it. So in order to go brushless, you have to get a special kit that will get a, uh, since it's all in one, you have to have a special kit to do the um, uh, speed control receiver and motor and ESC combo. Um, me personally, I would never go full brushless in these. Uh, they're extremely light. I will believe you blow off the diffs every possible chance you would get. Brushed, they're actually quick enough for what they are. I think just putting in a decent little 4.8 volt LiPo. Uh, not, I don't believe this has a LiPo cutoff in it, so you would have to get a, uh, a LiPo alarm for it. So that's what I would do to give a little more runtime, a little more pep, but it is quick enough. Uh, like I said, I. Uh, I have a few more of these that, that is for my daughter and she bits around my kitchen with little ramps and it's quick enough from that way. I think if I'm in a, a, a big large field like in a baseball t 
diamond, it would look quite slow. But for the size, just enjoy it for what it is. The bottom of the chassis is actually quite nice and flat. So uh, you won't get hung up much from the other uh, underside. But I wouldn't suggest running this in grass. Um, very loose soil, uh, flat ground. Probably like a baseball diamond would be perfect. Like I said, they're just good for what they are. Good little inside when it's raining days and uh, biff around with your kids, put up a little track indoors and just have fun with it. I wanna make sure I show you guys another close up shot to this before I end the show. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick unboxing here and uh, crush that like button and crush that subscribe button. I got more to come. You guys take it easy. Thanks for stopping by.